Okay, so this is our next sheet. It is the Telson 10 again, and it's question B3. And this is part D of the question. So the determinant the trace is the plane that contains the triangle ABC. And a note here, they didn't say oblique plane. So oblique means that it's at an angle to the horizontal trace and, or sorry, angle to the horizontal plane and vertical plane. Okay, you can also have simply inclined planes where they're just inclined to one plane. Okay. So they're an angle to the horizontal trace or to the vertical trace. They're not at two different angles to both. So in this case, they're looking for the vertical traces and horizontal trace of the triangle ABC. I'll shade that in first. Okay, first thing we notice here compared to the other two is that our surface is floating in midair. All right, it's not touching the horizontal plane in elevation and it's not touching the vertical plane in plan. All right, so what you do with this so you see here, they've extended the edges of the of the uh, plane, okay, of the plane ABC. The reason for that is you're trying to find the traces of the plane that contains that surface. So that surface is only a small part, only a small part of the actual plane. So the plane itself could extend out to infinity. All right, it can be any size, and you should know that from a sort of works. Uh, that you, when you have the front plane, the top plane, and so on, that you can change the size of them, it doesn't matter, you're just projecting onto a plane, and its size can be infinite. So this surface is resting on that plane, okay? The pl it's contained within the plane, so the plane can be any size. So what we're doing is, we're going to extend the edges of it, okay, in order to meet the horizontal plane. So you see here, they extended AB down to meet the XY9, they extended BC down to meet the XY9. Okay, and what that's given you is an edge that is resting on the horizontal plane, just like the previous questions. And what you do then is you find those two points again in the plan. All right. So I'm not going to put shading on these lines. I'm going to put arrows. So we extended the edge AB. So look, they extended it down. They also extend BC down and made the triangle slightly larger. And it met the horizontal plane here and here. Those are two points on your horizontal trace. Okay, because that's, they're still within the surface because, or still within the plane, because the surface is on the plane. So it can, that could stretch to infinity. That could be full surface here, okay? Full plane in behind it. And all you're doing is just extending lines on that plane. Okay, so these lines here, and those two points are still on the plane that contains the surface, ABC. So these are the two points on the horizontal trace in elevation. Find them in plan. You're projecting plan, so you gotta go parallel to your XY line, okay? So your projection line is always parallel, so project them straight down. Sorry, perpendicular. So project them straight down. How, what do we do in elevation? We extend it AB and BC, okay? You must do the same here. Extend AB until they meet, and that will represent that point here. We've got point one, point one. Extend BC, and the, where they meet will give you point two. Notice, that they are both the same height there, so therefore the horizontal trace is parallel to XY9. So if your surface isn't touching the XY9 or the horizontal trace, it can be extended down to find points. Okay? Now once we have our horizontal trace here, normally what we do is we take our point and we project it parallel up to hit the XY line. This is horizontal trace of parallel to XY line, so that's not going to happen in this case. All right? What you can do is repeat what you did in the elevation and find the plan. Now if it's parallel to the XY line in plan, it will be parallel in elevation as well, because it's simply inclined. Okay. I'll put a, a, a link in the card to this question here in this video, because uh, I've already done this question out and I've, I've shown an image of the plane in relation to the uh, horizontal plane and vertical plane. So follow the link here, and you can see that video. So repeat what we did in elevation in plan. Extend your surfaces back until they reach the vertical plane. So if you extend a BC down, it's not gonna hit the vertical plane, same with AB and so on. So we must extend up, okay? Extend the surface back. So bring AB back till it hits the XY line, i.e. the vertical plane. Project that point back up. Extend AB and it gives you a point here. Three. 
you could do the same here to prove that they're parallel extend bc back as well so you get the vertical plane bring that straight up bring bc back and it will give you a point parallel to the x y9 again we might go through that and just slightly off but not by much and that gives you 0.4 and as you see there again, it's going to be parallel to the X, Y, Okay, and that's why the horizontal and vertical traces were parallel to the X, Y, on this one. If you followed the card and looked at that question, you'll see it's simply inclined. Therefore, it's just literally resting on the horizontal plane here and tilted back and resting on the vertical plane. Okay, so one more to go in this tutorial. I uh, hope this has helped so far and I'll add the next sheet now. Okay, so this last marking scheme I've printed off here is the question B3 from 2012, uh, question section B, obviously. And this is part, uh, part D. So you have to determine and indicate the horizontal and vertical traces of the oblique plane which claims the surface ABEF. So we want ABEF. So I'm going to uh, shade that in first and I'll fast forward. Okay, so that's our plane ABEF. And it's an oblique plane, so you're going to have, you know, you see it here already, but you are going to have your horizontal trace cut the X, Y line, and same with the vertical trace, all right? So this is similar to the first two we did. You see the surface A, B, E, F. You see that the line A, F, okay, the baseline there is resting on the X, Y line, i.e. it's resting on the horizontal trace. So that is the horizontal trace there, or a section of it at least. So A, F is your horizontal tra trace. So we shade that in. Okay. So that is your horizontal trace there. And this one is actually nice and different because the other one we other ones we did we did. The other ones we did, the baseline and the top line were at the same angle. But you see here, E B is a bit of skew, okay, it's at a different angle. So what do we do in the previous one? This is the horizontal trace, it's cut in the vertical plane, that's a point on the vertical trace. Okay? We need to do the same with a point here, you can go with E, you can go with B, it doesn't matter. I'm going They've done going to be with the top plane here or the top point, so let's go with B. What is the angle that projected B back to the X1? It has to be the same angle as the horizontal traits, okay? Basically, in order to show a point on the plane or section cut on the plane. So, project B back, same angle as horizontal traits. That now is giving you a point on the vertical plane. Remember, the XY line represents the vertical plane. How do I find that in elevation? Project it straight up. And then we project it from point B, so then project B straight across parallel to XY9. And where they meet is a point on the vertical trace. So why parallel to XY9? Because look, in plan, the horizontal trace, you project a B parallel to it. Again, you have to be parallel to the horizontal trace in elevation. And the horizontal trace is represented on the XY9 here, the line AF. So therefore it's parallel again there. Where they meet is a point on the vertical trace, join that back to where the horizontal trace cut the vertical plane. And that, that's, your, that's your vertical trace. So I hope uh, seeing a few of them done in a row, even though they were American schemes, I'm just highlighting them. I hope you see that after doing a few in a row that is straightforward enough uh, when it comes to the oblique plane question. And also this question, I've done the full question list, so I will put a link again, another card uh, for this one. And uh, I hope that helped. And I hope that was enough information when it comes to finding the traces. It should be. And just practice one or two of these questions with the first one traces, okay? And maybe especially the ones with uh, corner geometry where your planes aren't resting on. I know this is corner geometry here, but find one that wasn't resting on the actual X, Y line. So again, I uh, hope that helped. And if it did, please leave a like. And we'll see you in the next one and good luck in your exams.